Your core purpose and your current purpose are things that many people lack. They lack them. Now, back in old days, when it's like Vikings and cavemen era, we would have a purpose, and that would be to survive. It would be to survive, to thrive, and to provide. That was our purpose. As we got further through time, our purposes started to shift a little bit. They started to move more to stockpiling supplies, building better tools, better towns, better civilizations, making things easier. Now, most people actually lack a purpose. They go throughout their day-to-day -day job just trying to live and survive and consume all the pleasurable things instead of actually having a purpose that drives them, that keeps them motivated, that helps them to experience what the real world is like and be the best version of themselves. Purpose is a great thing once you find it and so many people do not have it. It is insane. I don't know how so many people don't know what their purpose is don't have a purpose that they are committed to. I'm going to explain what exactly your purpose is, why most people don't have it, why you need it, and how to actually find your purpose and to start achieving it. There are two types of purposes. One, there is your current purpose, which is what you are currently per uh, working on right now. It's what you're dedicated to, it's what you need to do, it's your next chapter in life. For me, it is business. Last year, it was myself and my character, building who I am. For you, it could be something else. It could be acting, it could be programming, it could be boxing, it could be any of these things. It could just be the start of your self-improvement journey. But your current purpose is what you're working on now. Then you have your core purpose. Your core purpose is what you are destined to do. It's the final thing, it's what you'll do for the rest of your life once you find it. And the only way to find your core purpose is to peel back all of the current purposes until you finally get it. Like an onion. You peel back all the layers until you finally get to the centre. That is your current purpose and your core purpose. The reason why you need to have a purpose is because if you have a purpose, you then have a drive, a fire, a fuel to achieve that purpose. And once you achieve it, you go on to the next one, and the next one, and the next one. It makes you happier, more successful, and more grateful in life. Once you finally get past all of these ones, you make it to your core purpose. When you make it to your core purpose, this is where you'll find the most happiness, the most success, and the most joy in life. So, how do you find your purpose? Well, it's actually pretty simple how you can find your purpose. All you need to do really is to sit in a room with no distractions and stare at a wall until you are bored. Once you are bored, your brain will have to work out what you're supposed to be doing, which is your purpose. So you'll work it out naturally as long as there is no phones and technology and videos and video games and all these flashing lights and all this other rubbish. As long as there's not much instant gratification in your life at the current time, you are bored, sitting in a room, you sit there until a thought pops into your mind that gets you really intrigued, or that keeps popping up all the time that you feel like you need to do. You'll know it once you find it. For me, I sat in a room and went, I think I've worked on myself for long enough now. I think it's time to work on business and money and success. And I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. So I went with it. And it turns out, yes, this is exactly what my next purpose was. And if it's not, you'll work it out pretty soon. So, it's pretty simple. That's all you need to do. I hope that this video helped you. I hope this provides some value. And keep up the good work.